Hey guys and welcome back to Indie Game Culture. We are doing a new feature called Power Hour, which is essentially a let's play series where I play new and interesting games, indie games that is, for an hour, let you see what they're all about. And if you like them, potentially you might pick them up yourself. Today we are playing Biomorph, a game that is kind of billed as a mix of Hollow Knight and Kirby. And <laughs> It's a weird mix. I wasn't um, immediately aware of this game until it came out on Steam just a few days ago and I seen it and I immediately wanted to pick it up just based on the strength of the art style, the strength of the the overall premise of the game I suppose, just because the, the combat, the movement, it all kind of looked quite slick and if you know me you know that I give Metroidvania's a bit of a hard time but Hollow Knight has made me come to realise that they are actually quite good games to play if you happen to catch a good one. And Biomorph, I think, just might happen to be one of those Metroidvanias that just stand out from the crowd based on its unique premise. It's It seems just based on the very small amount of time I spent with the demo, a game that has a fun world, a fun bit of writing, some interesting bits and pieces to it, which I won't uncover right now just because we're going to get into things. But... I feel like this could be one to really keep an eye on, so... Excuse me. We're going to dive into Biomorph. We're going to see what this game is all about. And this is the first episode of Power Hour, so if you could like, subscribe, comment, let me know if you like this series, then we could potentially... Well, one of two things. We can either do more of these one-hour kind of quick scopes of the game... Or we can do, I suppose, full Let's Plays if the game itself gets enough traction. So if enough of you guys like this video, then we'll do a full Let's Play series. So let's do um, quite an aggressive number, but an attainable number for the number of subscribers we have. If you can give me 100 likes on any of these videos that we do for like a let's play like this one then we will do a full series and i'll play the game from start to end if not then we'll move on to the next one so we're jumping into biomorph guys let's do it all right let's see what this is all about now i played about 10 to 15 minutes of the demo so i don't know if it's going to be exactly the same it's starting the exact same way so i'm imagining this could potentially be the same 10 15 minutes i played already um so what we've got here is our our character with her Rayman sort of sentient gloves that she's got going on. Um, so I'll let you just enjoy the opening scene. And here we go. Harlow. I don't know if I was going to do the voices. I guess I will do the voices. Oh no. They're caught in a stasis... <laughs> I'm not very good at this. Do we want actual voices or do you just want mine? I don't know. Oh no, we're caught in a stasis field. We have to rescue them from this. From this laboratory? What What are we doing here? No idea. No idea where we are and that's not much we can... <laughs> no idea where we are and there's not much we can do from this side of the rubble, boss. Who are they anyway? I uh, don't remember. Our priority should be escaping this place. We'll take care of the rescue effort once we're safe. Longface has a point, boss. No, we have to rescue them. We have to get in that room somehow. Suit yourself. Not like we have any other choice than to follow you. Oh, and any... Stop calling me Longface. Nope. Let's go. <laughs> okay, so we're in. So, um, gameplay-wise, I've only played 10 to 15 minutes, like I said. In terms of movement, feels quite like Hollow Knight in the sense that you can jump. Um, and if you hold down the X button, you've got like a higher jump. If you see what I mean, very similar to Hollow Knight that way. So immediately movement feels similar. Um, we haven't got any skills yet, apart from this one, which allows us to slide under barricades like so. Um, but we'll gather them as we go. Um, I've went in the wrong direction, I believe. Or have I? I should really... Yeah, there we go. There we go. So we got the Bruisers. Launch a melee attack that can be performed rapidly and in various directions. Basically, we can hit people now. 
Oh, that was neat. Forget that. That was awesome. Seems like we turned our... Seems like we turned into fists quite handy. Who cares about technicalities? I want to punch something, boss. Let's punch something. Anything. Pretty please. I'm not going to punch things just to make you ha... Um, chances are we'll have to punch our way out of here. So why not? Let's do it. All right. So we're moving on up. We jump in here. Cross here. Big long room. And we get to this thing. What's that? Can we use it? Yes, it opens the blast doors to the room they're in. I'm sure of it. And what makes you so sure? Have you any idea how to interface with this? Call it a gut feeling or whatever. We'll figure something out. Isn't that right, boss? Boss? Harlow? Uh, guys, I feel weird, like, long fingers poking around inside my head and... And something's happening. <laughs> And this is something that seems very um, frequent throughout the entire game, this animated cutscene approach, which is something I've seen in a couple of Metroidvanias like Blasphemous or the 2D platformer I played recently, Saviorless. You get a lot of this in very small doses, but this game seems to have really leaned into the animated side of things, and it's really cool, and it's really well done, it has to be said as well. Like, look at that, that's great quality, right from the offset. Now granted, it could be used a lot more sparingly as time goes on, but we'll see. That was close, nice dodge, Cleo. Thanks, but this is no place to talk, you remember the plan. Yes, but they're intelligent, surely we can come to an arrangement and work something out. Elos? Elios? We'll go Elios. Elios is a big planet. They're invaders, they don't even consider us people. In their eyes, we're scary little blue nightmares to get rid of. They refused any attempt we made to speak this out. They don't want any solution other than their own, and their solution is exper extermination. There's gotta be another way. And that leads us in here. And brings us back to where we were. Cleo, their name was Cleo. Whoa, what was that? Some kind of memory fragment? So Cleo, um, we have a name now? Oh, so Cleo, eh? We have a name now. And your memory is coming back. Good news all round. Still doesn't answer what this place is or what's going on. From your recollection, this appears to be a spaceship. A spaceship in quite a sorry state, might I add. It might have come down from the sky and landed. And you and Cleo broke in and... Broke in to fight them. And somehow you got frozen and then unfrozen. And, and that's all I've got. Where'd they go? Did we win? If you don't know, boss, then I'm 100% sure Cleo knows. We've got to rescue them. And that's what we're gonna do. Off we go. Or not. Uh, oh, yes. Time to do the thing, boss. I did say we'd have to punch our way out of here. Bang, 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 bang. And we out of there. But we've also got hurt, so we have to heal. Easy stuff. All right, and we are moving on up. Now we are getting to the point where you're gonna find out why it's um, akin to a Kirby game. So this monster's gonna come alive, we're gonna punch it some more, and it's dead. And I'll just let you enjoy this. So as you can see, we are now the monster that we killed. Hence the name Biomorph, I suppose. So we're gonna hop back out. There we go. So, basically how this game is like a Kirby game is instead of like swallowing your enemies and turning into like their shape or... I'm not big into Kirby games, so I don't quite have the lingo, but that's essentially how I understand a Kirby game. This allows us to just morph into different 
enemies and use their abilities. So I guess a little bit more like Ben 10, if you're familiar. Very similar to that sort of um, idea. And I'm not sure if there's anything down here worth going to see. I'm going to go with yes. Nice. And we can pick this up. Raw materials. I'll have some of those. Oh, and there's something here too. Interesting. Ooh. Oh, boss fight. Against what boss? Oh, I have to find this thing around the place? I can do that. Pretty sorry excuse for a boss, has to be said. But, you know. Start small and move forward. Nicely done. Okay. Nice. Kill the Toroth. And we get the stuff. Nice. And we killed our first boss. Exciting. Laurentium. A beautiful and rare mineral that shines brightly. I'm sure that's going to be useful for something. Alright, so... I feel like we're possibly going to die fighting that. I know we have to go this way, I think. We do get our way towards being healed. Okay, that gives us the full power of a memento. Don't know what a memento is yet, but we'll find out. Um, we'll go and try and fight this thing. Just need to be quite careful. And that's nicely done. We can now be it. Moving on up. Ugh. Platforming is not great with this big lug of a thing, but we're doing fine. Okay, no more of that. Uh, there we go. And we'll use him to batter our way through here. And we are. Okay. Oh no, we're locked in. We're gonna die! It's a door. If a door can't be opened, it's not a door anymore, is it? Ergo, we must be, there must be a door switch. What if there isn't? If it comes down to survival, I'm eating you first, Longface. Nice little back and forth between the two of those guys. You can now change your loadout, memento. Okay, let's have a look and see. So vital energy, vital containers, healing efficiency, base attack. Okay, all pretty standard stuff. Don't have any biomorphs available. Okay, so you can unlock those and just constantly have access to them. And there's like 15 of them. Okay, pretty interesting. Um, equip chips. That's the attack. There's other ones. Mementos. Okay, so we'll equip this. And that achieved nearby plaques. I assume plaques is the currency. And in terms of abilities... Vital scan recovery, biomorph. Yeah, all pretty standard. Okay. Told you there was a switch. I knew that. I was calm all along. That was a test. Congratulations. You passed. Okay. We move. Not that way. And we're good. Oh. Here's our first boss. Experiment ST741. Okay. Up we go. And we drop. Pretty standard stuff. Hit a few times. Okay, break out of their shell. Get some better hits in. And then they go back into their shell at some point. There you go. Okay, jump, 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 jump. Oh, he's so slow. <laughs> Dangerously slow. Hey, okay, up you go. There we go. Will we have enough to break him out of his shell here? It's a gamble. It's not paid off. It's not paid off at all. Oh, we got him this time. And you're dead. Easy. <laughs> the animation style of this game has given me... I don't know if you would get this, but it's what I get from it. Do you know those old, like, Disney Channel animations from, like, the late 2000s era? 
I'm trying to think of one that really is very similar. Maybe Kim Possible? Quite similar to Kim Possible in terms of his animation style. And that is a compliment, believe me. But yeah, that's Biomorph. We're in. <laughs> and we're in. We've got a map. We've got everything we need. Once all the secret areas have been found in the room, borders could turn gold. Ah, great. So once you've got everything you absolutely need out of a room, it turns gold. I like that. That's actually something that's relatively new in Metroidvania's. Because you, you always got the kind of like, not bordered out, like kind of like, you kind of faded out certain areas in the map and you would, all, you would almost have to jump into the top corner of like a screen to make sure that it was completely discovered, which seems pointless, but it's just part of the Metroidvania rigmarole. But I think Prince of Persia, that new one, um, is the first one that kind of implemented this and it's became like a staple. So I like to see that. It's good. Quest started poking the monster. Let's get into it. How much of the world is breakable? Not a lot. Alright. And this is the big building that we just popped out of. Through that hole right there. So what's going on in Blightmoor? What's in here? Okay. Learning, learning. You must be from very far away. Why? I've never seen anyone who looks like you in my whole life. Except maybe in scary books for kids. No offense. None taken. Offense taken. Order, order a drink and don't pay. That'll teach him some respect. And there's the dude we just talked to. And... Ooh. I'll play some music. Ah, oh, Gonna have to find some music, I guess. But I am really liking the art style of the game. It's giving... Um, weirdly, it's kind of giving pizza tire <laughs> in a weird way. I don't know. Can I break down here? No. Ah, uh, procrastinating. Oh, hello. Meme. Is it? <laughs> That's the way that my mother says meme so we're gonna call her meme incoherent sobbing and wailing she holds a flyer that reads lost scargato um what's wrong ma'am can i help my scargatos they're gone i have no idea how to survive in this world but they have no idea how to survive in the world oh but they don't but they don't know that oh you know i was right the first time <sighs> But they don't know that. They think they are fierce hunters. But all they are is squishy, cute, and adorable. Sounds great. Don't do it, boss. Sounds like a chore. I came in from shopping and fell asleep with the door open. I've lost them forever. It pains me to say this, but Annie's right for once. We have to find Cleo, not some domesticated slugs. I'll find your Scargatos, ma'am. I know what it's like to lose someone you hold dear. Or 40 of them. 40? 39 to be exact. Find them, and they'll be able to return home by themselves after that. I have to go home and cook their supper. And just like that, we are collecting grubs. <laughs> if it's not like Hollow Knight, it is now. Statue. A relevant statue, apparently. Okay. I suppose we should head for some sort of important landmark. Oh, no, no, no. I don't want to talk to you again. Enough of your words. Hop and hop and hop and hop. Ooh, the little slug. Hello. A Scargato. Hello. Ah, his name's Sao. Hello. A playful and loyal little Scargato. He is fond of birds, especially the blue ones. I'm quite fond of them too. Ah, oh, and he's got a little dicky bow. Oh, I love him. I do like the grubs in Hollow Knight more, but I do like the Scargatos too. Alright, buddy, have fun. And what's in here? Who are you? Ooh, shop. Okay, what have I got? Little helper, summon a flying assistant that fires bullets. And Okay, that could be relatively helpful. Ferox Field creates an aura that provides protection against... That's basically just a shield. Uh, Memento Socket increases 
the amount of mementos I can have. Um, phase 3 accelerator reduces vital scan activation time. Don't think that's super important. Increases damage dealt. Can't afford that. That's fine. Probably want this. And I can't afford anything else, so that'll do. Do we drop down here? What's over here? Hello. Boyd. Hey, cutie. You didn't happen to notice a Kalox flying around with a wrench? Um, no. Uh, I'm so stupid. I was just throwing my wrench at the flying pest, and I thought, probably shouldn't do that, Boyd. That's how you lose things. So I threw the wrench, and I lost the thing. I'm Boyd, by the way, but you probably figured out how you already, huh? Can't you get another wrench? It's not really a wrench, but a veloc ferroscalating fluxograph doesn't quite roll off the tongue, you're telling me. They don't make them anymore. That's, well, that one's from before the fall, dang it. I see. What does it look like? A wrench. <laughs> it's pretty good. So what did I, ex what did I expect? And do you need a flux skating flexio wrench? What do you need the wrench for? To measure ferox pressure in closed pipes. I discovered a mechanism from before the fall. If my theory is correct, it could let us travel over vast distances in an instant. Oh, does that mean we could punch everything everywhere all at once? Sign me up. Ah, so we're just going to get fast travel then. I'll keep an eye out for the wrench that isn't a wrench. Ah, oh, you're the best. All right, so we've got another update on the Poking the Monster quest. There's nothing down here. Oh, no, there is. Are we going this way? Ooh, zoomed out. The Mezzo Skyway. All right, let's go explore. I feel like we're finally off the leash. Boom. And in here. Hello, you flying thing, you. There we go. Anything that's blue is something we can't biomorph into. I've established that. Oh, and we're straight into a boss. Abandoned delivery bay. What? What's the actual enemy? Oh, just a wave. Okay, fine. Easy peasy. Ah, can't attack things through things like Hollow Knight. There we go. Easy peasy. Job done. And a new memento. No. Is that seriously the first quest? Is that seriously it? Alright, fair enough. So I'm assuming we can't go this way yet? Yeah, okay. Well, let's go give him his wrench. We've, we've battled through such hardship to get that wrench. So that we better get it back to him. My boy, I've got your mad wrench thing. He's not here anymore. Where'd he go? <laughs> Where's the map? Um, missing. Yeah, he should be. Oh, he's just up a little bit. Okay. Hey, buddy. Hey, is this your vero vulsating flammograph? Um, flaminating flamatostat? Floridating femograph? What'd you call it again? See. That's why I call it a wrench. And yes, it's the tool I lost. Thanks, cutie. So what's the whole new way to travel thing? Oh, well, it's only a theory so far, but I think they used the I think they used these ferox tubes to travel, the ones marked SAFE. When you put something in it, it's reduced to a plasmophoric wave that's <laughs> that's what it sends on the other end. It res <laughs> reconstitutes the waves to its original form. Ah. Uh, too many, too many syllables. I didn't get all that, but wouldn't that kill you? I'm still trying to work out short distances with different objects, but only the highly flexible ones made it three unscathed. Sounds like these SAFEs aren't so safe. It's still experimental. I need a tracking center to regulate the pressure of the pipes. I just need a third party to vouch for it. If that means I can use it, I'll vouch for the project. Wow, cutie. You really are the best. Here's the blueprint. Take it to the city registry and they'll take care of it. Boom. Oh, right, okay. Welcome to the city registry. Would you like to build something, buddy? Maybe I do. What does it cost to build a house? In this economy? Not much, really. Blightmare welcomes everybody and pays for most of it. Oh, 
that sounds nice. Don't get your hose high, buddy. The city requires blueprints to be approved by the architect to make sure everything is up to standards. But the architect likes to take walks. Long walks. All around Elios. I haven't seen his bespackled face in over a month. Anyway, feel free to browse the city registry. If you have a blueprint already approved by the architect, I can build it. Which means I can build this thing. All right, so we basically have fast travel now, I think. Um, oh, no, no, because the safe is actually save. So if we go to a save point like the one out here, we do that, we upgrade. And cutscene. Hey, cute, good job upgrading the SAFE. If you find any other blueprints in the tracking center, for the tracking center rather, bring them to the city registry upgrading. It will let me track more safes. Win-win. I see Blightmore is already changing for the better. I'm glad I asked for your help. Thanks for helping, Boyd. Now that everything's back to normal, I'll open the door outside the city. Come and see me once you're ready. One last thing, beauty, cutie. There, here's a weird looking weapon thing I found. Hope you can use this because I sure can't. What you giving me? The Executioner. If I arranged bullets, how I do this? So, oh. <laughs> I don't necessarily like that, but it's fine. Okay, cool. That'll come in handy. There we go. And hello. All right, so we find that lost tool. Now, how, how did you say that I can get inside the building with the spheres? That big building with the spheres, that's the core. My best guess is that the databases in the dunes of time could give us the clues on how to get inside. I see, does that database have a name? Anything I need to watch out for? It's the... Athenaeum? Athenaeum, a very old library that I can't say for certain what's inside, since no one from recent memory has gone in. Yeah, that's why it's important to leave the door open so we can analyze its collection. Take care, Harlow. Marvelous. We're all set. Open the gate, get ready for an adventure. <sighs> I suppose that's when our adventure starts. Glad you stuck around to this point. Let's walk the walk. Hello, thing. I feel like we can definitely be you. We can. Oh, so you fire... Ri oh, okay. And that allows us to go through force fields. Don't know if you caught that. That's cool. So this game is going to be like more of a almost puzzle based game as it is a metroidvania. I don't know if you can tell that but that's definitely the case. So if we jump and do that, nice one. That's an ugly thing that we are playing as. So ugly. But here we are. Okay. I drop down here. Nice. Ah, you bad thing. There we go. Biomorph again. Drop in. Drop in. Whoopa. Haven't used my gun yet. Ooh, that actually is quite good. Now we can be this thing. What does it do? It does like smoke bombs? I don't understand why that's helpful. Oh, and it can use smoke to like go over spikes. That's helpful. Yeah, it's, it's, it's giving me like Ben 10 vibes where you can just turn into these different things. Nice one. Well, can you go up the sides of walls? No. Uh, that was close. Got him. Recording device you used before the fall looks pretty worn and the screen does not display anything. Okay. Cool. Ooh, the music has changed. And there's a save point. I feel something coming on. Um, so I can upgrade this so that... Oh, you have to upgrade it so that it becomes like a fast travel point. Okay, and we'll save. 
And we'll move. Is this a boss then? No. Oh, you bad egg. Nice. Okay. More lever puzzles. What was the point of that lever puzzle? Didn't really need to get to this side at all. Unless I can go over here. No. Okay, never mind that. Ah! Oh, what are you doing? Oh, need a heal. Nicely done. Alright. Okay, we'll run across this way. Jump this way. Oh, damn it. No, no, no. Up we go. Nice. And we made it. And we... Oh, no, no, no. Made it work. We made it work. Well, that doesn't work. Okay, we'll go the other way. No, we won't. Ugh, that was rookie error stuff there. Oh, <laughs> so rookie! I did it twice. Great. Okay. Now can I? Oh my goodness! I'm so sorry. I am so sorry for my incompetence. And up we go. And we wait. And we come down. And no, you can't shoot it up. But I got it. Okay. I'd prefer if it was... No, right, okay, never mind. Never mind! Hop over there. I knew that was... Ah! Okay, we're potentially going to die. That sucks. But here we are. Maybe we won't. Maybe we'll be okay. We have enough to heal now. Okay, we're back in. It's not over for us just yet. And he's dead. Oh, yeah. Bag. Restore shop blueprint. We've got the blueprint. Nice. But we keep moving. Hello. Well, hey friend, take care and he care to hear some sweet tunes. Is this the right place for a show? This dude doesn't seem to care at all. I like him. Any place is the right place for a show. But if you're not feeling it, then here's the record. The Skyway inspired this piece. Listen to it with your heart and your ears. But that's the easy part. Well, we have nothing to play this on, but maybe Blightmoor's bar has a jukebox. Thanks for this, but... You really should find a safer place to compose. He ain't listening. Life is a skyway. <laughs> I like that. I like that. That rascal flats humor. <laughs> we move. And we can buy our morph into our dude again. Alright. We are right on the edge of the health that we have. So let's try our best not to die. No promises. We can get him through here. We can get him through here. Nice. Still can't heal yet. Now we can. And we are safe once again. It's the same thing, isn't it? Yeah, it is. We must be getting to some sort of progression. Not a save point. I mean... Gotta be. Save. I don't think we have any new mementos, do we? No. Okay. We move this way. Alright, morph into this dude. No, let's actually not do that. Ooh! <laughs> A Scargato! What is your name? Punio! Grumpy and romantic, the Scargato doesn't like to be home alone. Meimei's lap is the place of choice. <laughs> 
Little Punio. I love him. Where should I actually be going? Ah. <laughs> like, I can't fast travel. Where's the closest one? It's just as far to not fast travel, so let's not do it. And we're here. Save and fast travel down to this one. Pretty cool. Alright, so we're heading out the top of here. And then down one. Why are you glowing red? I don't like that you're growing red. Nice. Alright. No, we were here before for sure. I remember being here. Cool. Down. Got hurt there, but that's okay. What's this thing? I have no idea. Oh, it's updated my map. Ah, very good. So it gives me areas that I can go explore. Excellent, cool. Keep it moving. This is a boss. This is absolutely a boss. <laughs> These hanging dead things. All right, so wish me luck. Hello, big thing. Gorgonzer. Oh, crap. Oh, they don't mess around. Okay, I need to heal. Oh, my God. They are quite tough. They are quite tough. It's all gone quite badly, to be honest. Ah, oh, that sucked a lot. <sighs> okay, so we need a bit of strategy, which is something we just did not have there. Okay, and we're back. I think I might have collected something there. Is this like Soulsborne and that you can lose all of your plaques? All right. We go again, let's do it. Ugh. Okay, I feel like I just panicked last time. I feel like this is easier than I'm making it out to be. Ah, uh, that was just poorly timed, but that's okay. I can see this is clearly quite easy. I'm just making a mess of it. Oh, and I'm out of bullets now. I didn't realize you could run out of bullets. So that sucks. Oh. Heal. Okay. making a real hash of this. <sighs> I am better at these games than I'm <laughs> making out to be. I promise you. We're not ending this video until I kill this thing, so... Hang fire, we're gonna do this. Yeah, we've picked up that. Okay, let's get it right this time. Oh, immediately getting hit, that sucks. Genuinely quite a poor performance. Oh. Was idiotic. Okay, we're gonna do a lot of really like fast clips to 
to the boss again and again and again until I get this thing. Because I feel like I'm going to die quite a lot. Because I clearly don't have a grasp on how this is meant to be done. Alright, here we go again. Alright, then we jump, then we dash, then we jump, then we dash, then we dash again. Alright, we just need to be a bit more frenetic in the way that we approach this. Clearly we're not dodging enough and not being fast enough at what we do. Oh, that sucked. That's fine. This is better, for sure. This is good, this is good. <laughs> like, we've got a grasp on this now. Oh, and we've got him halfway. Alright, that's fine. Ah, crap. Alright, cool. Cool. Nice one. What's he doing now? That's okay. He can do more of that. That is fine by me. Just gonna do his little thing again. Yep. And we're up. No more bullets left. That's fine. He's doing his little rain dance thing. Oh, I got hit by it again. Come on. Ooh, don't hit me, please. Okay, do more of your thing. That's cool. Okay, don't get hit by this this time. Nice. Drop down. Give him a bit of this. Ooh, nearly. Don't mess it up. Nice. Let's go. Well done, peeps. Well done. Ah, intense. And we got another memento socket. We can have three of those now. We still only have one. But yeah, that's good. Nice. Well done. Okay. Let's get through and finish this quest. And then we'll call it a day on this part of our video. Ah, down to the bottom. Hey Harlow, still going to the Athenaeum? Yes, I hope to find what I'm looking for in the database. Good, good. It's... But it's so much more than just a database, probably why it's so tightly locked. It was apparently a grand library full of bibliocubes and many, many archive rooms. I bet... I bet my head that we'll find a way to get in... to get to Cleo in one of those rooms. Annie, you're nothing but a head. I'll take you up on that bet if you're serious. I'll finally have a calm and quiet. <laughs> I'll have finally have the calm and quiet I long for. I bet long faces head that we'll find a way. <laughs> All right, and we're in the gins of time. We are through our first boss. Oh, look at this thing! I would like to be this thing. What's it do? So it has just the ability to hit things. It hasn't got a big jump though. Yeah, I'm not grasping why this thing is helpful. Ah, okay. That makes sense. So we can redirect the fire and unlock things. Interesting. Smash. Oh, yeah. That other thing. Gonna be this? Ooh. Now what does this spooky character do? He can fire sand dune things? This triangle power doesn't... Oh. Ah, so he can teleport in certain places. Interesting. Just want to get to the next save point. Then we can call it a day here. Number three here. 
And a save point. We'll upgrade that. And we'll call it a day. So guys, that was the initial stages of Biomorph. Um, I think we've been going for about an hour now, just over. So if you like that, I am more than happy to do a Let's Play series where we go through the entire game. Um, if you like it, let me know. Like, comment, subscribe, do all the usual stuff. And if you want to see other games do this little Let's Play series, then we can absolutely do that. If you want this to just be like a one-off where we just play games every now and again and I show you like the first hour, I'm definitely going to play more of this game because it's fun. It's, it's genuinely one of the better Metroidvanias that I've played in terms of a concept. It's got a little bit of jank to it, a little bit rough around the edges, but still very, very strong, has to be said. Um, so yeah, I'm going to be playing this more regardless, but if you want me to do that along with you, I am happy to do that. Um, but yeah, this has been the ND Game Culture Power Hour. Um, also, I'm really sorry for my accent. I know I say R instead of R. <laughs> that's just, that's just the way it is. You're just going to have to get used to it. But I've been Cal and I'll see you next time, guys. Thanks for tuning in.